In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the most effective route combinations out of the Y off trips pads or the U trips formation in Madden 23. This is going to be the Y cross concept, how to run it out of U trips and how it can counter, which is uh, one of the best quick snap plays in the formation. Now, if you wanna get my entire U trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link will be down in the description. It's only $10 to become a member and it will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, the play that we talked about a few days ago here on the channel was this play here y option wheel and how it's one of the best quick hike plays in the game and we're going to show you another really good one in this video um if you don't have tight end apprentice which i would i feel like if you have tight end apprentice and maybe like slot apprentice on your solo receiver that is plenty for you trips um but if you don't have uh, tight end apprentice we're going to be using the play pat slot out but if you don't have it go ahead and use the play stutter curl seam and you can basically do the same exact route combo with that play so uh, what we're going to do is utilize this play here pat slot out and all we're going to do is we're going to put our tight end on a crosser you could snap the ball just like this or you could go ahead and block your running back and this is pretty much the setup now against press man um this crosser typically will beat man coverage across the formation, uh, as you can see right there. Now, the route on the right side, it's not 100% consistent, but it also can get kind of this glitchy, quick separation against man, and you can throw that to the sideline relatively quickly, especially if you have the short in elite ability on that player. Now, another really good route for beating man is this solo receiver or this outside trips receiver on this kind of wide receiver post. It's a sharp cutting post, which means it's going to get really good separation um, against man. As soon as he cuts the inside, we just want to pass lead inside. And as you can see, that route can also beat man coverage. Now, another route that I want to spend just a few minutes here with you on is the solo receiver on his kind of deep fade route. So this deep fade route, if you have the short out elite ability on that receiver, he can get um, some separation over the top on this glitchy fade. So you'll see here, sometimes he'll get it, sometimes he won't. If he doesn't get it, obviously you're gonna wanna take your man beaters over the middle of the field. But just be, just kind of be aware of the fact that, you know, again, depending on how they uh, are covering you defensively, that is always a peak. And if he gets kind of that over the shoulder animation, feel free to free form and high point it up and over. A lot of times you can catch that if they don't have deep route knockout, that could be a potential bomb play for you as well. Now, another thing that you can do if you want to send five receivers on a route is put the running back on a quick out. It's not going to do that great against man to man, but it is going to force them to have to account for the running back, which can then lead uh, other stuff open on this play. Another great route to put the running back on is just a simple block and release route, but I really do like the out route. Sometimes it will get good separation against man coverage, so it's worth you know putting that out there. You can leave him on the block and release curl, or you could also put him on an option route. Um, option routes can get some decent separation against man, so just kind of something to kind of point out. But let's take a look at this play against zone. So against drop eight zone, this is one of my favorite concepts in Madden because it's really simple, but it's really effective. This crosser is gonna get into a really soft spot over here on the left side. What a lot of people like to do um, is up do some variation of kind of this concept here, maybe drop a hard flat over here, right? Some variation of this. You'll see this a lot out of dollar. And the beauty of this is that third will get cleared out and even if he's manned up, a lot of times that crosser will be an option uh, for you to be able to hit. The other thing is, if they're not putting um, if they're not putting hard flats on the field, feel free to throw this quick out. This quick out is really good. Um, there's a reason we want to have that as opposed to a flat because he does a better job at getting quick to the flat. So what that does is it forces them to play hard flat coverage, and then when they have to play hard flat coverage, it opens up this little pocket where you can throw this post with an inside pass lead and be able to attack the defense this way. Again, a lot of people like to do this adjustment right here where they're gonna cloud that side, um, and then they're going to cross man the post. This sharp cutting post, a lot of times will get separation. You can throw it in that little pocket right there. Assuming that their user kind of goes with the tight end route, this provides you a great little opportunity to hit that other read. 
Now, again, as I said, you can feel free to put the running back on an out route. If they're not playing hard flats, you can take that all day long. Super simple over the middle of the field. Another thing that you can do with the running back if you have um, tight end or uh, if you have like hot route master is put the running back on a ghost route. And I'll show you why that is really helpful. So one of the other things that people like to do kind of similarly to the, to the other side is they're going to kind of do this right here. And when you put the running back on a ghost route, it's going to act like a hitch. And what hitch routes do when they're on the numbers is oftentimes they'll kind of hold the cloud inside. And there's a little window that you can hit, as you saw right there, where I can throw this to the outside, even though technically that cloud, even if I back them off, you'll see right here, like even if I back them off, even if I have an additional hard flat defender, right? It's really hard to defend this because a third is going to get taken out of the play. And then a cloud flat, which should defend this, um, oftentimes will get kind of stuck on the numbers, and you can throw that. Now, again, if they have a hard flat as well, or if they have the running back band up, it can be a little different. Uh, but that's something to kind of think, of, think about if you're going to put the running back out on a route. If you're not going to put the running back out on a route, this is going to do a really good job of beating the blitz because you've got your quick throw out route, which is really good against the blitz this year. And you also have uh, kind of that tight end crossing uh, over the middle of the field and so if the user says okay i gotta go user the tight end route because that's you know the quick hitting route on the play then what it does is it leaves this coming underneath it wide open for a quick hit this is one of my favorite plays in the entire game the way you would run this out of stutter curl seam is really simple just streak the solo receiver flat the slot receiver and then put the backside receiver on a smart routed in route. And now you have basically the same exact concept. It's just the routes run at a little bit different depth. Thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, head down to the description and go check out the Patreon. You can join for just $10 and it'll get you access to all of my ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your Patreon membership is active.